Okay, I want to do a little demonstration on um, how to actually use Fathom to calculate standard deviation, IQR, and all those things, and um, and mean and median, and uh, really what they look like. And so um, this is actually going to combine something in the next lesson, which is the the box and whisker plots and the um, the, the the histograms. And so if we go to the the class A and B data that's in this folder. Um, we can actually highlight the data, just highlight the data, um, copy it, then go into Fathom, drop in a new collection, and then right click and say paste cases. From paste cases, we can bring in a table, just as long as we're highlighting, uh, we'll get a full table. And so this is going to be the data that we, we have, like the marks for class A and class B. And so we can actually pull in a graph, and we're actually going to pull in two graphs. Um, and so just a just kind of a good habit we're going to bring in two graphs one for the measures of central tendency and one for the measures of spread um, and so uh, what we're going to do is like actually sorry I guess we'll bring in four graphs uh, one for class A one for class B okay and so we actually bring in class A and drag and drop um, and then and set up a histogram. Class B, drag and drop, and set up a set up a histogram. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring in class A again. Drag and drop. We're gonna we're gonna set up what we call a a, a box plot. So a box and whisker plot. Um, keep wanting to bring in a graph. Drag and drop class B and set up a, a box and whisker plot. Okay, you can see there's an outlier. Oh, we're going to just clean up our histograms a little bit. Uh, if we right click our histogram, we can go to inspect graph and change the properties. Just change the bin alignment so it's something regular like 45. And so we can actually see a little bit better there. It starts at 45. Uh, we can change the bin sizes um, just by like just by pulling there. If we change the bin sizes to something that that maybe works, this might change the bin alignment. So we're going to right click, inspect graph again, and just make sure that the bin alignment is. Let's start at forty. Let it start at forty. Okay. And so our our class A data looks kind of nice. We're going to right click here. Uh, we're going to set up our class B data. So really what we're looking for is about 5 to 10 bars. Uh, we don't need too, too many. Uh, we want to set it up so, so it looks kind of nice. Um, that looks okay. Uh, inspect graph um, properties. We've got to change the Y upper to, say, 5, just so we can see the top, and the bin alignment to, to 10. Just so that it's right on there. Um, the bin width right now is 9.6, so we'll make the bin width 10, so that way we can see every 10. I think this bin width isn't very nice, so we're going to go to inspect graph, change this bin width to to 10 as well. Okay, as long as we have five to 10 bars, it, it looks really nice. Um, okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to we're going to plot the mean and the median. So if we right click plot value, uh, we can actually just type in the word mean and bracket and then type in, put in class A. Okay, so it tells you the mean right on there. Uh, we can do the same thing with the right click plot value. We can do this, the same thing with the median of class A. Okay, so we get the median. And we can do the median of class B too. Um, so we can uh, plot value the mean of class B. Oh, I do have to put brackets around that, otherwise it won't. It won't. Fathom is kind of fussy if you don't if you don't do it correctly the first time. Mean bracket class B, and right click inspect. Uh, right click plot value of the median of class B. Okay. 
And so you can see that the median, the middle values are the exact same for both. And the uh, mean uh, is a lot higher for class A. So you can see a little bit more about that. On the box plot, box plots typically tells you what the spread looks like. So we're going to plot value on the box plot. We're going to plot um, the standard deviation, STDDEV of class A. Um, we're going to do the same thing, plot value for class B, STDDEV for class B. Okay, so you can see the standard deviation of the class A, standard deviation of class B. Uh, we can also plot value, we can plot the Q1 of class A. We can plot the um, plot the Q3 of class A. And do the same thing um, for class B as well. Um, there is also another like another way to do this um, if, rather than typing it like they'll if you go into functions and go to statistical um, and one attribute you get a lot of these numbers already so if I want to like do Q quarter three I can just double click Q3 and then I have to highlight and get class B it is easier if you know the functions to type them in rather than actually picking them uh, so you got Q1 and Q3, and it you can get the IQR from subtra by subtracting yourself, but it, there is a function for IQR of class A. Um, so you get the IQR, and then plot value uh, IQR of class B. Okay, and so that's how you get all the measures. So we got the mean, median. The only thing we're really missing is the mode the mode is is the middle the central so we, we can just look at the mode and see it's 70 to 80 here it's a tie between 60 to 70 and 80 to 90 like there's two modal intervals here and that tells you more of the story when you're comparing them um, the other thing you can do is is the range and the range is pretty easy to find it's just max minus the min but there is a way to do that you can take, take the max of class A and subtract the min of class A and so you can get the range that way that's the range of 50 and then plot value the max of class B and subtract the min of class B okay so you got all your class B data on the right all the class B A data on the left you can see things like uh, now we can actually see that the IQR is 16 here, 26 here, so a lot closer together for Class A. Average is a lot higher for Class A, although the median's it, the same in the middle. Um, the range is is a uh, is a lot lower for Class A. It's 50 versus looks like 80 in Class B. Uh, standard deviation is a lot bigger in Class B, 22. So you can see Class A is a lot more consistent with a higher average. And so those are conclusions that you can come up with, and you just go through one at a time. You say mean is is higher in class A, so that the average is higher in class A. Median is the same as the class A and class B. The middle person is the same. Uh, Q1, you can exp you can explain Q the IQR. The middle 50% is spread out by 16 here versus 26 here. Uh, a typical point lies 13 from the mean versus 22 from the mean and so you can explain each uh, that way and so that's how you do it in fathom and for your culminating project that's what you're going to basically do and um, and we're also going to talk about what these histograms look like as well